Hey guys, alright, today I'm going to show you guys how to use negative G to make an enemy overshoot. Negative G's are not just for um, making the enemy think you're going one way and then bolting off to the other or just trying to get away from his guns. Alright, first of all, if anyone's new in here, I'm going to show you guys what negative G's is. Before anyone do negative G's, you got to realize you got to have speed. If you don't have speed and you're doing negative G's, it's not gonna work because experienced players will hit you. Experienced players know what's happening, so they will hit you. So first thing you need is speed. And how do you get it? Simple, just push your nose down. That's it. Just push your nose down, hit the accelerator. But keep make sure that um, when you do does this move right now that I'm doing, after you get speed, then do negative G's and then pull away alright in the first part of this video I'm just gonna um, show you guys how to do this video clearly you can see that now um, later on I'm gonna show you guys a one-on-one -on -one situation then two on one and um, you'll see see uh, various ways that, that how I got away with it but the fundamentals are still the same you get speed then you dive down a bit and you pull negative G's uh, by doing this, what happens is it, it helps to get the coordination right too. Pulling neg negative G's without coordination, that gets you killed as well. So in the next clip, you're going to see me in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Alright. Right now, this uh, G56 is just going to dive down on me. I don't have much altitude, as you can see. Only about 600 meters. So I dive down. Pull negative G's. I die down again and I pull negative G's once again. He overshoots and I'm on a six. So it's not it's not just for um, just for getting away. You can use this maneuver over and over again. So I'm just gonna get on his tail, finish him off, and we're gonna go to the next clip. Um, negative doing negative G's actually works against um, zeros as well against some of the some of the Japanese planes. So, let's go to the next clip. In this situation, I get a fuckable 190 and a BF 109 diving down on me. So, like, like I showed you in the start of the game. Die down, get gain speed. So, I throw his aim off, dive down, gain speed, and I start pulling negative G's. And you'll see them lock up. BF109 goes out of the way and I notice the 190 gets locked up. So I ignore the BF109 and I just dive down on the 190. And in this clip, um, it was uh, what ended up happening was um, he dove down on me so fast that he broke up. So as you can see, we're going to pick up a lot of speed here. But once again, all I'm doing is pulling... Um, not pulling, sorry, gaining speed, and then I'm pulling negative G's. So, there we go. And he overshoots. Just as he gets in the front of my gun sight, he um, blows his wing. So, I hope you guys got an understanding of what I'm doing now. The first part of the tutorial was to get you guys um, to understand what I'm doing. Speed and then negative G's and after that when you do that for a couple of times over and over um, you get your coordination right so when your coordination becomes right you can make the enemy overshoot and get on his six um, after this clip is done I'm gonna show you guys another little trick that I usually pull in what I do is I go right into the enemy like four, five, six guys and what I try to do is bait them low so. Oh, oh, that's right. There's another plane that's going to come behind me, and then all I do is just touch, touch my negative G's, and then get away from him. Um, in this clip, you're going to see me getting attacked by three, four, five players, and all I do is just keep their attention on me long enough for my team to come and help me out. So I basically what I'm doing is I'm using negative G's to bait the enemy team low. 
and it's pretty fun. So I'll let you guys enjoy the video clip and thanks for watching. Hope you guys give me a sub and a like. Thank you.